Yo, welcome back everybody. Today is February 23rd, I think. I just got off work. We're out here in the field. Caleb and uh, his crew has been hunting all day. How have you made out, bud? So far, we uh, landed about 2,000 Canada geese, 40 yards. Good learning experience for the dog, but uh, no snows yet. We had one group work us this morning, but of course it was raining and the socks were just hanging there, so that was a no-go. So we picked up thousand decoys and uh, we moved to a new spot. So we're up on top of the hill, we got the wind, birds in the area, we're gonna give it to them. So we're gonna hang out here till dark. Um, overcast skies this morning, sun's out now, uh, bluebird pretty much, And uh, but we do have good wind. And how many, 90 dozen, 100 dozen socks out, so. <laughs> They're moving pretty good. We're excited. Hopefully, uh, getting closer to dark here, these birds will start moving around, feeding different fields. So, my gun is unplugged for those wondering, and I'm gonna unleash if they come through here. The thing we don't know is that, you know, these birds have been traveling all up and down the East Coast this year, and they've seen it all. So, we're kind of throwing them a little curveball. We're hiding in some Canada decoys. As you can see, we got the dark on the dark blinds. This cornfield's brush hog, so not a lot of cover in it. And uh, we got them really thick behind us and light out front, wind at our back, the sun's gonna set at our back. I'm hoping 4.30 is gonna be the time, man. So stay tuned. All right, so we got our first group of the day. They're like three miles away, but old Eagle Eye over here got a look at them. We got the Knox, Vortex for the wind. Can't really beat it for the price. Lifetime warranty, great stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'd say they're headed this way. Maybe slightly to the south a little bit more. Um, we'll give them a whirl if they get over here. See what happens. We got hell of good movement. I mean, we really do. There you have it. Hopefully, the killing will start happening. All right, guys. I think uh, we got some snows coming in here. Yep. We got some snows coming in. The Dutch has never even seen snow goose in person, so this is kind of like a midlife crisis thing going on here. Dutch, here. <laughs> Come on! Dutch, here. Pick it up. Go, boy. He's like, why is it white? <laughs> Where are we at, buddy? Howdy, howdy, folks. We back. We back. Uh, it's a Saturday afternoon. Will and I are heading out to meet up with the boys. They're out in the field. Uh, they set up all the decoys and stuff, so we're going to be snow goose hunting today. Got my shotgun with no plug because I'm going to waylay the first white thing I see. Seagull, snow goose, bald eagle. I don't Seagull's know. Seagull's even legal? No. <laughs> So, uh, Bald eagle. <laughs> we're they're like protected. We're cutting that out. So, uh, anyways, we're gonna be snow goose hunting today. So, I don't know. I guess there were birds here this morning. There's been a bunch of birds around. Uh, in a podcast we did last night with Caleb, we uh, kind of covered the whole situation with all the birds that we have right now this year. Uh, 
kind of we're on that line where north is too cold yet and south is you know it's warming up so uh, we're on the line where they're trying to push back north and there's just been a ton of birds around this year so uh, we're gonna head out into the field and meet up with those guys and hopefully uh, put the hammer down so uh, we're gonna be laying in the decoys we don't have any blinds or nothing I think we're gonna put some Tyvek suits on or something so Will's jacked about that right Will? I'm ready to go baby let's do it Are you our Uber? What? You the Uber? Oh yeah. You, oh, yeah, you we are. Heck yeah, baby! <laughs> wow, the service. Nick the piano. Maybe give the large to one of these guys. Try you going painting? Watch how fast I put this on. <laughs> I was hoping it was going to be a lot quicker than that. Go with it. <laughs> Alright, too slow. This kid always on his phone. Who Snapchat, texted? baby, Snapchat. Who texted? My buddy Billy. <laughs> he's he's prescribed Billy. burning right now. Where is that? Uh, South Jersey. Yeah, it's lame. All right, today is March 5th. We're uh, conservation snow goose hunting once again. And I think today is gonna be a really good day. We're set up in a field that the birds have worked three nights in a row. This morning, they're in the field next door. And we just, while we were setting up, I had a bunch of birds come over us and ended up actually shooting one because they got so low. So, looks good. We're at the tail end of probably what we're gonna see for snow geese unless there's a big weather event north of us. So we got our spread here, we got some Confidence Canada's out there, and obviously you see we're suited up here today in the NASA suits. So we're gonna let them fly and stay tuned for what's about to happen. Hopefully it's good. Yeah, buddy. I have TSS in my gun. <laughs> he had to get three shells from someone else. He wants to make missing more expensive, that's all it <laughs> really comes down to. Hey, it ain't expensive, it ain't your ammo. <laughs> Yeah, that's a losing battle right yeah, there. Yeah. Well, we just had our first flock. We circled a couple times, and Will was waving his arms around, and they flared <laughs> off. So. Lessons learned, right, Will? Don't do that again. So <laughs> we'll uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Hopefully, we got two hours until shooting light, so we got plenty of time. Uh, there was quite a few big flocks that we saw off in the distance, but uh, they didn't they didn't make it this way. So all good. You good, Will? Thank you. All right, we'll see you on the next flock. Just like that, man, that took some serious time to work these birds down in. That was crazy. That what tungsten is, is the shit, dude. <laughs> wow, that took some time, but 
being patient uh, definitely paid off. They finally came in. It was sweet. I think we got, I think we got three boats and uh, what, two boobies maybe? Yeah. One boobie? Maybe four or five. That's what you sweet. want. Sweet. Right We get the win. <clears throat> well, guys, we're down here to the wire. It's uh, just starting to get dark now, the sun is set, and uh, we've only had that six pack, I think, that came in and actually did it. Other than that, we've been seeing a bunch of birds. However, the wind has really died down, except for right now. <laughs> we just got a breeze, but it's been, uh, it's been good. I mean, uh, just with no wind, we think that the bird, we've seen a lot of birds just coming in towards us, and then they, once they get closer above us, they, they cut off, so. We're going to give her a little bit here and then uh, we'll be cleaning up. So, Brandon, you got anything to say? It's like basketball. You can score as much in the last five minutes as you can in the first. There you have it. Of I like that right there. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, boys. That's a wrap for the night. Awesome hunt tonight. Awesome hunt. Only got one flock. But that's alright because we had a great time. Wind. Wind was uh, definitely challenging, and we think that had to do with quite a bit of uh, the issues we had with the birds decoying down, but we, we did see a ton of birds. We had an a awesome lot of birds. Hunt. I'm thankful. Are you thankful? Absolutely. Good. Good time. We'll catch you guys Good in the friends. Next one. Like and subscribe.